When it's late, your mind is racing. You've been watching too much Source and other science channels on YouTube, and all the pieces start coming together. You know when her playing cards against humanity and you think her card is unbelievably funny and the person reads it out loud, and not a single person laughs yeah that hurts. Or when you do a clever one and no one else has the knowledge base to get it. Yuba mentioned Hitler references for example. Only people with high intellects use an android and that's a fact. I'm 13 and I understood everything, and my brain didn't hurt at all. Don't tell me you read a book series, when you really listen to it, audiobooks are not books. Don't tell me you read all of A Song of Ice and Fire, when you really had it read to you, while you did your laundry, you don't get those points. Why do I bother reading mysteries? 22-30 pages into it, I already know who did it, how, and why. Nice try. But you're speaking to someone with a 4.0 who is in a competitive engineering team. It's funny how everyone's at the gym, but the brain is the most important muscle. Organ. Now that's your skin frag. Okay, an actor dissing the political opinions of a musician it's kind of like two children disagreeing about the applications of the second law of thermodynamics, that is two people debating a subject they are highly unqualified to debate. I mean, yeah you can just drink more water, to replace the stuff you pee out drinking a concentrated ethanol diuretic. Couldn't just say alcohol? Well, there is isopropyl alcohol, methanol, etc. So, just being accurate. Not a shiny, just a variety you weren't aware of, so you reposted it. You must be fun at parties. Do you mean gatherings in which I educate everyone around them how non-significant their existences are? I would say I'm very successful at such events. Anyone ever, what's your major? Me, art history. Them, so you, like, learn about old paintings? Me and my head, I analytically apply deconstructionist methodologies to visual culture, in order to better comprehend the abstract conditions of human existence. Me, yeah, paintings. How smart do you think you are? I have 110 to 133 IQ, but I got 85, 95 plus in this, 82, 95, and I'm in 6th grade. I'm 32, and not only do I idolize Rick and House, I idolize every insufferable genius, Sherlock Holmes, Doctor Who, Tony Stark, Sheldon Cooper. I would rather the world be populated by blunt intellectuals than deal with you emotional twats any day. Misery is the price of knowledge, it's easy to be happy when you're dumb. Alcohol is for people who are too dull to be creative and fun without it. Akalesa humans. 11 year old genius in college, I can prove Stephen Hawking was wrong. In his last book, Stephen Hawking said that God does not exist. This 11 year old boy claims he can prove him wrong. Mop, what are you doing? Me, metaphysics. Uh, appalled, metaphysics, on Christmas, me, yes. If that ain't the most honest shit I've ever seen, more people need to love like them. Sorry, what? Your first sentence there appears to be a fragment, please fix. Please fix is also a sentence fragment, smartest. I'm a senior in high school taking app physics too. The EOC app test is literally written by university physics professors. I'm sorry that you weren't given the same opportunities as I was, and as a result have the intelligence of an uneducated buffoon from the middle ages. Have you ever woken up and thought HM kinda feel like teaching myself about astrophysics and quantum mechanics, because that's literally all I've been doing the last 4 days. You don't even know anything. When I was 6, my sister was half my age. Now I'm 70. How old's my sister? 35. Let's have a hard one next time please. It says half so half of 70 is 35. Wow. Go back to school. Can't sleep. Mindful of equations I'm inventing. Math student. Algebra. College. You asking me to fly your dude out? Let me let you in on a little insight on my mind. Like before I have convo with someone. I already thought of what they gon say, and how they gon perceive it. So think careful, before you talk to me lol. Because I'm really smart, really advanced, I figure every woman out quickly. Literally I don't care. <laughs> Professor, I almost docked points from your essay, because it was 15 pages instead of 10, but I decided not to because it was so well written, so thoughtful, so fascinating, 
It was my favorite read of all the papers in this class, and maybe of my other classes as well, so I didn't take away any points for that. Me. Okay. So why did I get 90 out of 100? Professor, because you doing so well messes up the curve. That's not fair to the other students. Their scores should be out of 90, not 100. Me. I'm fine. Yes, sex is nice, but have you ever been discharged from a mental health hospital? Best feeling ever, although I quite enjoyed f***ing their heads up with solved long equations on their dry eraser boards every morning. I was 13. It's always so funny to see their faces when they realize how smart you are. Cause they never know what to do with you lol. And bro I'd f***ing wreck you and your dad. There wouldn't be anything left to bury. I think two people could take on you. I doubt it considering I'm clearly smarter than both of you combined. What makes you think that? I'm extremely clever, not only do I have access to Tannerite, but I'm extremely skilled at laying out traps. You do exactly what I want you to do without even knowing that you're doing it. So nonchalantly done. And I'm flawed. I paused the video at the beginning and did the derivation on the left in my head. Yep, in my head. Without prompting. I don't like to use the word genius, but sometimes no other word will fit. Good day. Dear friends. I'm sorry, but I'm not the right person to console you during a period of loss. I'm a great person to ask for life advice, direction, motivation, positivity, or just to plain chat. Unfortunately however, I'm far too philosophical to console you in a way that most people would consider attentive to your grief. As an example, I have enclosed an excerpt of my response when someone I care about informs me of their loss. You need to remember that death is a natural part of our cycle. We shouldn't mourn the loss of our loved ones, but celebrate their life. They are simply returning their atoms to the universe, and eventually it will be your turn. Seriously? Sometimes I hate my brain. Sorry again to my dear friends that I fail at consoling. Please understand I'm just a robot. When you start reading a biography of Leonardo da Vinci, the smallest things can have the greatest significance. I spent part of my morning staring at this glass of water and nothing how the light reflected off of the glass and the water. Just do it. Renewable energy. Dumbest phrase since climate change. See the first law of thermodynamics. Dumbs. I didn't even tell anyone. Yet that I have more brain and a new part of a brain. I had a viral scan. They say it's a new type of brain. I'm special lol. Why is this me? I literally have a complex list and extensive use of vocabulary I use on my parents and friends. When they piss me off, I now see the reason why my friends were jealous of me in grade school for reading at grade 12 in the third grade. And my addiction to buying long books. You're also very humble. Can understand nuclear physics and relativity. Can't understand how to do bro handshakes. This game is cute for children. But having even a high school level understanding of evolution makes the gamma play seem pretty asinine. The speed at which new mutations occur should be dependent on how many organisms exist. But in the game it seems based more on new infections. Also, the newly mutated strains should originate and spread into different regions separately instead of universally adopting the new traits. The game is basically a phone app adapted for PC and a pretty poor representation of a global pandemic. Seemed like a cool concept. Really unfortunate to see it executed so poorly. Doing your best is more important than being the best. 92 for Chinese and 87 for science. Lol. 87 for science. Ha. Ha 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 ha. I didn't even break a sweat. 100 for science. When I was his age, I did my best and did it without a sweat. Sorry a bit tipsy. Does electricity affect water freezing? If you put electrical current through water, will it prevent it from freezing? Speed the freezing process up. Obviously imagine the electrons hitting the molecules of water and giving them more energy. That will melt the ice. I'm only 15 years old and I know this. I hate how much more intelligent I'm than most adults. It's actually quite sad. Being me is a constant challenge of forcing myself into below average intellectual conversations while I try to keep a straight face the whole time and end up looking like this. Biased opinion based on superiority complex. Transitioning from doing midwifery at uni to nursing at TAFE is a struggle. When a question says minimum 100 words for the answer and I find myself writing 800 words. 
Ugh sorry teacher. Two weeks ago I corrected my chemical teacher on tetravalence and I solved a problem which he wasn't able to crack in days. He congratulated me and told me to teach the class properly. Today they had a test and all of them got full. You dumps, when the F did this happen. Stop making up bullsh, you don't know jack about tetravalency. By the way, anyone who is seeing this I'm his classmate. You read diary of wimpy kid, when you were in second grade? Ha. Ah. I figured you were more intelligent than that, that's why I decided to befriend you in the first place, by second grade I had just finished reading Gone with the Wind, but I know your feeble mind, wouldn't be able to comprehend that advanced of a book, Dutula kind of overreacting, it's just a book I read 7 years ago, actually, it's your, but I don't expect you to use full words, when you have such a tiny brain, I bet I have twice as high of an IQ than your two brain cells. I highly doubt that, because it's actually yeah. Pretty good. How's it going for you? Good except, I don't know I feel weird, like I think I'm like crazy or something, because I think my brain recognizes its own intelligence. Like I've never met anyone who thinks even closely to my perception of reality, like you meet people who just kind of understand your outlook, and have very similar outlooks, I stand alone. And I've interacted with thousands of people. I just feel weird. Don't go full camera lol. No no see I want to be an example like a beacon. To Gen Z. That we are going to save the world. Lol. Can I doesn't know anywhere close to what I know. Jays. That was very can I ask but effort. E dud. E dud. It's like short for hey dude. Mon man. Lmao. Sorry that I cannot understand all of your slang. I'm far too intelligent to waste my time learning a non-existing language, made up by a group of hobos. My IQ is said to be 143, which means I'm in the top 98.2% on Earth. I'm saying on Earth, because soon we will be facing other species from other planets, but I know that your brain isn't able to comprehend that kind of information. You literally told me that you scared that IQ on an online IQ test, SMH. When I was in second grade I was so ahead of my peers that I had my IQ tested and it was 130, that's in the 97.78th percentile of all living humans, so ahead that I was urged to skip third grade, which is what I did, still, I was so above intellectually, so above to the point where I'm going to the University of Rochester for free with a 4.0 GPA. In the biochemistry major, and as you fall lull to the standard American diet and your intelligence continues to decline, myself, a whole foods plant based eater will just continue to excel. Thanks to my eating choices I will not lose intelligence like someone, so I'll mind it as you, which scientific studies can attest to. Also, did I mention I can type a proper sentence, enjoy. Does anyone have any experience with keeping the interest of an 11 year old boy? I have a stepson. I've been in his life for about a year, and he is an incredibly intelligent young man. Unfortunately, me and him share zero interests together, and his own pursuits to me seem below the developmental level of an 11 year old. I know when I was 11, I was already reading Robinson Crusoe, Tom Sawyer, Dean Koontz and Stephen King. The only book of any advancement he reads is Harry Potter, otherwise it's just Captain Underpants and Diary of a Wimpy Kid. His movies revolve around other little kid stuff like the Smurfs or the Emoji movie. I just want to nudge him towards things that are more mentally stimulating, but I don't want to be overbearing. What are some good movies books TV shows anything that I can try? I feel like Hank Hill dealing with Bobby at this point. 